I say enough, man. Fuck it. I'm out. I'm out, man. I, I've had enough of this, man. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not all United. I love United. I love Sport United. I'm out of this interview. I'm out of this 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 conversation. I'm out. And Rashford's only got one goal in his last six games. He's not going through like a drought. It's like a mini drought. He will score goals again. But we're so reliant on him. And we need to be reliant on other players like Bruno. We're reliant on Bruno as well. But like we need to be reliant on other players. Other other players need to chip in with other goals and other assists and to, to make the team complete. So so we've got an all round threat team where we can fraternise any other team that we come up against in any competition. Because we are post Manchester United. Fatigue setting in on the players and you need subs that can come on and do something. But ask none of our subs to come on and do anything. They're not doing anything. Fred came on and Malassi came on against Tottenham and it made the team worse. It made the team totally worse. It made it worse. It made the team worse. I don't understand it. Yes, with no scruff, with no with no with no depth in the squad. In quality quality players in depth in the squad. Players like Malassia, he's not up to standard. He, he, the goal against um the Spanish team, where they let him in at the back and he scored the own goal. Since then, he's gone downhill. Another player like Veghorst Ve Ve came on. Okay, he jeered up the team in the penalty shootout and he kissed the ball before before that player went and took his penalty and then he missed the penalty, which was a good was a good tactic. But the subs aren't making the impact that they should be making. Not from not from Manchester United team anyway. From a team where we, where we can, if we go, if we don't, we're not we're not we're not winning the game. Bringing on subs and having a great effect and doing well for United and scoring goals and turning the games around to subs coming on and doing nothing, doing nothing whatsoever. Sancho came on. What did he do? He did nothing. Another guy came on and he did nothing. It's like outside Hag, the substitutions he's making in the past were affecting games. 19 goals from from subs in the last first half of the season. And most in, most in Europe. And now the subs just don't make any kind of impact. No impact from the subs whatsoever. No impact from the subs whatsoever. There's no, no impact from the subs whatsoever. And it's just a shambles. It's a shambles. You see, like, Brighton brought on subs in there. They're like, I have to spring in a step. And they would, they would do a do a pacing down on goal. And and Matomo put out of his skin. And so did that. So did... um. Uh, McAllister. So I don't I don't understand how th this team has gone so downhill. Well, it's next season in the Champions League and the FA Cup, Premier League, Carling Cup, well Carabao Cup. We're going to be out of these competitions very quick. We're not going to we're not going to be in these competitions for very much longer. It's going to be a shambles. We need to strengthen that squad in the summertime. I shouted into the ball 15 minutes, but like, where's the service to him? Where's the service to him? I was meant to get hold of the ball, and no one was putting the ball into him. It's just, it's a shambles. It's a bit, it's one big shambles. Against Tottenham, after 30 minutes, we stopped playing. We're just like, how, we're thinking, how can we, how can we win this game as slow as possible? Like, just, just, just take our foot off the gas, and then we end up getting equalised on, and then we end up, we end up drawing 2-2 two -two Tottenham. It's not good enough. It's not good enough for a Manchester United team. For Manchester United football f football club, it's not good enough. The, the players are goose in the last 10 minutes. But this, some of these players have played most more minutes than anyone else in the whole wide world. Like Bruno, Luke Shaw, Rashford, Casemiro, Eriksen, McTominay, Fred... Window off. Do you know what I mean? They're all, they, they, some of them have played more minutes than most people in the whole wide world right now. And, and we can see why the goose in the last 10 minutes. But the professional football players, man, they're fit. 
the healthy. The distributor had to run around that field for 90 minutes, 120 minutes, and stowing up a penalty shootout like we did against Brighton, put us in a, um, FA Cup final against Manchester City, uh, coming up in a few weeks' time. So, if we can't beat Brighton on the day, we get beat 1 0 by Brighton on the day. I don't, I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. If it was Brighton rotating the squad because they've got a bigger squad than us, we, we've not got the op op option of that. We've not got a, we've not got a squad, de depth in squad. We've got some players in depth in squad, but not got as many as Brighton's got. But uh, they rotated the squad and they come out with the result today and 1-0 and, and to Brighton. Um, fair play to them. They, they, they won't beat us 1-0. It's like Brighton, it's like against Arsenal, against City, against Liverpool, against Brighton, and Brighton got worse players than us, and we just seem knackered in the midfield, in 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 in, in centre of the park. We just seem knackered. Like Rashford's trying his hardest to get the goals for us. Casemiro's playing out of his skin. Uh, Bruno's playing amazing. Luke Shaw's been a good good. Luke Shaw's come in and good play, played amazing in centre back. But the team just looks tired, and some teams are not even playing as many games, uh, as more less less games as or more games than us. So I don't I don't understand it. I, don't, I really don't understand what's going on. Something that you saw out, you know, you saw out big time, uh, um, giving away goals, giving giving away like squandering leads, giving away goals, um. We're lucky we're going to finish in the top four this season. But next season, things need to change in a big way. Things need to change in a big way for Eric Ten Hag and the, and the team. Because we've got to strengthen, we've got to strengthen our, our lines and stop giving away silly goals. Because it's, just, it's too much, it's too much. It's, it's, not, it's, not good, it's not good enough. It's just definitely not good enough. Definitely not good enough. We're not leading by the 60th minute by a goal or two or three goals. The teams will come back and they will they will equalise or they will put goals past us and they will um, take the lead. And it was just very unfortunate that they got a penalty at the very end. Very, very disappointing in Manchester United, um, Luke, especially in Luke Shaw with the handball. Um, I can't believe he gave away a handball in the last... Knowing there's a VAR as well. He knows there's VAR. He knows his VAR. And he put his arm up in the air and he, and he struck the ball with his arm. Knowing he's going to give away a penalty. The head's not saving McAllister's penalty. He's a World Cup winning um, centre forward. Midfielder centre forward. McAllister. He's not going to, the head's not going to save that penalty. One does to Brighton. Brighton getting 22 shots, on t 22 shots and 6 on target. We only had... Six on six shots in six socks in the in the first half, two on target. It was just not all shambles. It was a shambles. It's just they, they dominated in the second half. Brighton just dominated in the second half. Only having two shots on target in the second half. Brighton had about six on target in the second half, and it was just an all round disappointing game for Manchester United away from home. And once again, we get defeated. And I'm, I'm I'm very disappointed in Manchester United this, in, in this game. Luke Shaw with the handball. Why he had to stick his arm up in the air and knock the ball over, over the top when it wasn't even land on anybody's head? I don't know whether it was a reflex or it. I don't, I don't know, but uh, it, it should never it should never have done that. Luke Shaw should never handballed the ball in the, in the area and the last second the last second of the game. Smith had a good header on goal. Rashford had a couple of chances. Anthony had a chance. We should have scored in the first half. We should have scored. We should have scored in the first half. I don't know what happened there. Um, I think United just weren't firing on all cylinders. Just wasn't firing on all cylinders. I think it was just a shambles by United in the first half. It was a very 50 game. We had more chances in there. We had eight, ch eight chances, two chances on, on target. They only had six, they had one on target. But um, I think that the game panned out possibly in the way that Brighton would have wanted it to be. Getting the last kick of the game, 
getting the revenge on us after the semi-final of, of the FA Cup, after us beating on penalties. They had to go and get a penalty, penalty right at the end and, and, and knock on, and beat us on penalty, beat us on a penalty. So, yeah, I'm very frustrated. Only having two shots on target in the second half. Brighton had about six on target in the second half. And it was just an all round disappointing game for Manchester United away from home and once again we get defeated. And I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in Manchester United this, in, in this game. Luke Shaw with the handball. Why he had to stick his arm up in the air and knock the ball over, over the top when it wasn't even landing on anybody's head? I don't know whether it was the reflex or it. I don't, I don't know, but, uh, it, it should never, it should never have done that. We were sure she handballed the ball in the area in the last second, the last second of the game. Smith had a good header on goal. Rashford had a couple of chances. Anthony had a chance. We should have scored in the first half. We should have scored. We should have scored in the first half. I don't know what happened there. Um, I think the United just weren't firing on all cylinders. Just wasn't firing on all cylinders. I think it was just a shambles by United in the first half. It was a bit 50 game. We had more chances in there. We had eight, chan eight chances, two chances on, on target. They only had six, they had one on target. But um, I think that the game panned out possibly in the way that Brighton would have wanted it to be. Getting the last kick of the game, getting the revenge on us after the semi-final of, of the FA Cup, after us beating on penalties. They had to go and get a penalty, penalty right at the end and, and, and knock on, and beat us on penalty, beat us on a penalty. So, yeah, I'm very frustrated. Another poor away, away from home um, defeat. We seem to be able to win at Old Trafford. We, we unbeaten Old Trafford now in, in 31 games, but we can't seem to win again. We can't seem to win at home. And it's just, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating to see Manchester United get beat once again. We were inviting pressure for the last 45 minutes. Something had to give. Luke Shaw makes the handball in the penalty area in the last second of the game in the 98th minute. I don't know why it was the 98th minute. Was it even, was it even that much injury time? It should have been added, added on. But, um, yeah, um, 98th minute and McCarthy converts the penalty and Brighton, Brighton beat Manchester United 1 0. 1 0 to Brighton against Manchester United. The credit was frustrating for a Manchester United fan. That um, McAllister converted the penalty, the most Scottish shining um, Argentinian out there. He, he goes and converts the penalty and makes it 1 0 to Brighton, the last kick of the game. And it's very disappointing for Manchester United. Um, I'm not happy. Um, we, we're, we're still going to finish in top four. We've won the trophy already. We're in the, we're in the FA Cup final against Manchester City. But if we play like that against Manchester City in the final of the FA Cup, we are going to get pulverised. We are going to get pulverised by Manchester City. Believe me. Mikey D here from Maggie's Football Soccer, Maggie's Football World. Um, I've just witnessed my, my team, Manchester United, get beat 1 0. A late penalty from Luke Shaw's handball. Uh, I think it was. It was a harsh decision to think that it was the last kick, the very last kick of the game. Um, but for the last 45 minutes of the game, Brighton were attacking, 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 attacking. And my United couldn't get out the first, the, the, their own half. We had a good few chances with Anthony. Uh, Bruno had a good few chances. Um, other, other players, Rashford had a couple of chances. But... Um, no, it's not good enough. It's it's definitely not good enough. It's definitely not good enough for my Manchester United, Manchester United team.